Hello everyone, Jeff with the Green Review here. There are four main types of tree pruning. Crown cleaning is the most common and is done to keep a tree healthy. It is the selective removal of the three D's. Damage, dead, and diseased branches. Then we remove any suckers, water sprouts, branches that are crossing through the middle of the crown or have a very narrow angle of attachment, any branch trying to become a second trunk, lots of different branches can get pruned off. This kind of pruning should be done on a regular basis on small trees and occasionally on large trees. The first step in a crown cleaning pruning for tree health is to look at the overall shape and placement of the branches on the trunk. It helps to do tree pruning when the leaves are off the tree so the whole structure can be seen. Some trees grow tall and skinny while others grow round and wide and some grow in a pyramidal shape. The strongest tree shape has one main trunk from the ground to the top. Crown thinning selectively removes branches throughout the crown. This can create a healthier tree shape that allows better air circulation and more light to reach the ground for healthier plants growing under the tree. Scaffold branches that I discuss in a different video need to be evenly spaced. Pay attention to branch angles and keep the wide, more horizontal ones and prune off the ones that are more vertical, getting to be second trunks. Remove crossing branches and keep at least two thirds of the trunk with branches. Never remove more than one quarter of the living branches in one year. Crown raising removes lower branches to allow for people activities under the tree. Trees develop stronger trunks when they have more branches, so don't remove lower branches too soon. Keep two thirds of the trunk with branches. At the same time, we want to make the pruning cuts when the branches are small, so prune off lower branches as soon as the tree grows tall enough to allow them to be cut off. Crown reduction pruning removes the ends of all branches back to a side branch that are at least a third of the diameter of the portion being removed. This reduces a tree's height and size while keeping the tree's natural shape. It is not done on a regular basis, but it can be done. It's entirely different than topping a tree, which should never be done. See the tree topping video for more information on this horrible method of tree pruning. So there's four good methods and one bad method of tree pruning. So look at your tree, figure out which type of pruning it needs for whatever age it is and what you're trying to do for activities around it, and whether the tree's going towards the house or over a patio or whatever, and make sure you can do the right kind of pruning. And this is Jeff with the Greener View. Thanks for watching.